I was listening very carefully to the speeches, and I would like to mention especially two things. Uh, first of all, Mrs. von der Leyen mentioned that Russia is now weaponizing the energy policy. Well, I would like to say, well, what we told you about five, six years ago. If we're going to build up the Nord Stream 2 between Germany and Russia, of course they will weaponize it. That's obvious. There is no energy policy without other policies. Also with the economical policy, defense policy. That's, that's very clear. But Germans wanted to build up the Nord Stream 2 with Russia, and here we are now. Of course they're weaponizing it. I think to make it as a like, the big surprise, I think it's a bit like ridiculous. Secondly, uh, everybody has mentioned that uh, we are ready for everything. Also, Ms. von der Leyen and Mr. Borrell mentioned that we are ready for every scenario. Hopefully we are. But on the other hand, if you look on the facts, when Estonia just wanted to give some military help to Ukraine, who blocked it? German government. German government said, no, 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 you will not give it. Because it was our military equipments on the 80s, on the Soviet time, part of the Eastern Germany. And we will not give it to Ukraine. So I really don't see like this harmony inside of the EU. Of course, it's very, very clear fact that the Russia is a threat. But I've done, I, I really don't think that we have to panic here. But we have to be ready for everything. That's also obvious. Uh, also, like the previous speakers, when they, when they tell that the, the war is uh, senseless, it's pointless, of course. For us, it's pointless. But I think we take it too emotionally. We don't really think what really Russia wants to have. Like, even if you look at the troops, 135,000 troops next to the Ukrainian border, of course, it's not enough to occupy all the Ukraine. It's not enough. Ukraine is a totally different country compared to what they were eight years ago. They have made a really good progress on the right side. But 135,000 troops are very enough just to make some small actions in the eastern Ukraine. If you look at uh, what they are doing in the Russian parliament, they are now recognizing legally Donetsk and Luhansk as uh, independent countries. It takes only a few days, maybe, when they are risk they're asking for the help, military help, because the Ukrainian government will maybe attack those independent countries. And these 135,000 troops are very enough for the small actions in the military. Thank you so much.